Five, we've got reality stars Alex Reed and Chantelle Houghton. What does their body language say about them? <laughs> Chantal is very, very nervous <laughs> or very, very in love. You make up your mind. It's been a roller coaster. Here's their life in the spotlight. Chantal stole many people's hearts when she won Celebrity Big Brother in 2006. As a non celeb planted in the house, her love affair with Preston gripped the nation. I love she became a modern day Cinderella when they tied the knot later that year. But cracks soon appeared, and they divorced in November 2007. Meanwhile, cage fighter and cross-dresser Alex Reed became the latest leading man in Katie Price's life. And after he won 2010 Celebrity Big Brother, the couple headed to Las Vegas to wed. However, with much speculation and allegations, their marriage ended in January. Now, Chantel and Alex have found love in a match made in tabloid heaven. But with accusations of a showmance, what's the real story behind one of the most talked about couples in the country? What can you believe? Wow. What is the real story? Alex and Chantal are both here yeah. now, right? You know the doubts. A lot of people are saying, a lot of the, the publications are saying there is doubt that this is the real thing. How real is this? What is the real thing? I know what the real thing is, but um, I was um, very nervous um, when I first met Chantal, not to go too, you know, straight in, because my heart's still sort of like a bit broken back then. But um, she's mended it. What's he done for you? Just made me, you know, obviously I've, you know, got a lot going on Percy as well. But you know, Alex has just been amazing. And just makes me feel so secure and you know happy and just. Yeah, it's just made me feel complete, really. It feels like there's no pressure. Mm. Um, at first, like I said, I was a bit standoffish. He I mean, were, he was. It's like, <laughs> hold on. I mean, I didn't want to get... I mean, I'm scared of love after, you know, for better, for worse. That Why don't you just find a nice girl that works in a news agent so nobody knows? Yeah. Well, you know? Shut up, hey, <laughs> you know I asked her, what did you want to be when you were a little girl? I wanted to work in Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> so there you go. I was close there enough. you go. OK, so... so are you in love? Well, well, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. you are in love, one hundred percent, the real yeah. thing. Yes, yeah, yeah wow, <laughs> more so than ever before. Love has got many degrees, you know. Um, this feels real. This feels relaxed, and I don't want to compare anything to anybody else. If this is new, mm -hmm. this feels right, right now. So, does it hurt you? When people say this isn't real, they've just been put together. It's a PR stunt, a bit of publicity, magazine front covers. How does that make you feel? How does it make you feel? I don't really take any notice of it, you know. I've got mm. it comes to the age, you know, I'm 28 next month and I don't really care what mm. people throw at you anymore. I'm just so glad that I'm happy and, you know, I'm not, you know, sticks and stones and everything and, you know. It's, a, it's a, you know, I'm human. It does affect me. If someone calls you something nasty, I don't like it. But then I'm bigger than that, you know. Move well, on. even if it is, I mean, I married Ruth for those reasons. And <laughs> he's got us on the front cover of Bella, and we're, yeah. very, we're very happy, aren't we yeah. now? Yeah, because it's worked for us. It's worked for us for that reason. She's okay. a good friend with benefits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's a quiz question. OK, who can answer this? Who said this? I will... This is for two points. <laughs> I will never date another glam blonde. Who said that? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Correct, Alex Reed is the right answer, yes. Oh dear. <laughs> well, well, so much for that. A, is it a derogatory, a derogatory comment? I said she's very mummy, and I love that. And I don't know if no, that's... No, it's nice. Um, so that's, that's not... She is a glam blonde, but she's, like, uh, so looks what, after me. So what is it about each other? And I'll ask you first, Chantel, because, you know, we, we read about you both in magazines and I'm sure there's a different side to you. You know each other very well. There's a personal side. What is it about Alex that, that you love? The man that we maybe don't know. We know the public Alex, the cage fighter Alex. What is it about him that you love so much? Well, we've just been, like, we've had, like, literally the same sort of experience. We've been through, like, the same sort of things and that. And there's... Um, I always call him like the hurricane. Like when he walks into a room, he's just literally like a hurricane. He walks in and like lights up the room and just makes everyone feel good about themselves. And he does. He makes me feel really good about myself and haven't felt like that in a long time. But you're going to feel all those old feelings that both of you have felt before, and that is the paparazzi are going to watch every move, the press yeah. are going to quote everything that, that you're saying. Very you're true. going to be under the spotlight. You could have made that easier for yourselves, guys. 
will it stand the pressure? That's very true. And you think, well, why didn't I just go and date a girl from <laughs> the library, you know? Yeah. But well, you can't help who you fall for, can you? Yeah. And you know, people might say bad things and stuff, but I, you know, I don't, I don't care what they say. You know, as long as you're happy, then that's the main thing. Yeah. How did you meet? Because people think you were put together, as I said, no, by, no. you know, press well, agents. We actually, I actually met her when uh, she was with Rav, and I, I was friendly with Rav, not best mates, but I, so I was really standoffish, you know, like, didn't even look at her like that. Then I actually met her at another event, and um, I said, no, you, you don't need with Rav, and she sort of said it wasn't quite, you know. And then we actually properly met at the Fate Awards. Mm. In, in, uh, Belfast. in Belfast. Yeah. And the weirdest thing was we, was, we were put together, I thought it was a fix, on the same flight, sitting next to each other. I was like, yeah, this is a great big flight. I was like, <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey. Uh, someone's done this on purpose, you know, but who knows? You know. <laughs> told you, if we had a gone to those awards, I might have got sitting beside might have all been different. <laughs> <laughs> might, have, might have been amazing. Have you met the in laws and the out laws yet? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. It good? It's all good. My dad. Oh, I love your dad. I yeah. love your dad. She I was a bit um, of a joke with his dad, yeah. don't I? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you've both been married before. Yeah. Would you consider marriage again oh, to each on, other? Of course. Yeah, Sweet definitely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we I, we've, we talked about this. Well, not uh, getting married. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about because we share a lot of common experiences. Big Brother and marriage to famous people and yeah. breaking up. Um, it's, we're both sad because it's something that was so special. For me, that was for better, for worse. But, you know, you've got to move on. It's and just having that thing, isn't it? You know, that you, no one wants to get married twice today and you feel like you've had that first thing taken away from you, but... Still romantic, you know, still magic and, you know... Well, look, there may be their doubters out there. I have to say, folks, sitting close to them, you can feel the love. <laughs> you just can. Good luck to you, whatever happens. Thank you, Thank sir. You, Alex. Thank, Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much indeed. There you heard it there from them, here, Lovely. live. We'll say goodbye to yeah. you. Um, it is uh, Paddy and Jenny tomorrow. Yeah, they've got Justin Lee Collins.